Hi, Dr. Cash here, Dr. Cash Medical and Life. Thanks for um, j joining me today. Uh, today's nothing medical about this, actually. It's something that I, I want to share. And this is um, an, a hiking stick that I made. It's meaningful because uh, you know, it's something that I, I, I do as a hobby. And the story behind this stick is about a year ago, um, uh, my son and I, we went camping with our youth group. And after a long hike, I found this stick um, on the side of the road. Uh, it, it appeared to have been a pine tree. It's been there for probably years because it's dried uh, with um, some insects, you know, holes and uh, some barks that are left on it. Some are off, rather weathered away. Uh, so I picked it up, hiked with it, brought it to the camp. And I made a hiking stick with it. Um, originally, I charred it uh, with fire, basically forged over the campfire. And it's all charred and burnt. And then I used a knife to scrape off all the uh, burnt stuff. And then once I got home, used some sandpaper, which I bought from Home Depot. And uh, sanded it real nice and smooth. And then went to Hobby Lobby, got some acrylic paper color um basically painted uh the uh the lines make it to depict water the float of life float of water um it, it turned out quite nice and then finally cover it with uh, a, a varnish stain from home depot uh to make it nice and smooth um and rather sturdy and so ultimately i was uh, pretty satisfied with the uh uh, finished product uh, right there you can see that there's a little finger sticking out there this is uh, to uh, be used as a guide uh, a grip that you can use your index finger to grip on it for when you're hiking uh, and this is focusing on the compass that I put there or carved into the wood and it's compass supposed to uh, indicate God and uh, that will guide you as you walk along your journey of life hiking or whatever you do and as you move downward, the river flows down to the tip where you will find that there is a tip down there where I, underneath it, I actually put a copper tip in it. But it's rather, uh, it looks nice, but it's rather slippery. So I put a rubber tip on top of it um, and I nailed the copper tip uh, to the bottom of it. And then on top of it, put a, a rubber tip on it. It's nice and grippy. Um... And I figured that you can always replace the rubber tip from Home Depot too if you want to buy it. And ultimately, I am quite satisfied with the finished product. It's nice and smooth, lightweight because it's been drying naturally for a long time. Uh, I, you know, certainly install this compass uh, on it just in case you get lost. You can always use this as well. Uh, but uh, uh, it's going to be given as a gift to probably my oldest brother who who loved to go hiking uh and so whenever he carries this um he will remember um and also you know for protection and for guidance and and, and so on and so forth so again thank you for joining and i hope you enjoyed this if you do and you haven't subscribed please do so next until next time i'll share with uh, uh these um hobby stuff that i do from time to time enjoy take care bye